All right, welcome back to my channel, Conspiracy and Crime. I appreciate all your conspirators checking in and getting another story towards the Vanish series. So today we're going to focus on a mother-daughter duo out of South Florida. And uh, that mother-daughter is going to be Liliana and Daniela Moreno. We're also going to talk a little bit about Liliana's ex, uh, Gustavo, who may or may not have had something to do with their disappearance. And we're going to get all right into that in just a moment. Before we do that, though, there's a couple of things that I want to cover with you folks today. First, thank you to everybody that reached out about the audio sync issues that we've been seeing. I've heard this a couple of times. We've changed it up and thought we fixed the issue, um, but apparently the issue hasn't been fixed. So please continue to watch the videos. Let me know if it's going a little bit fast or a little bit slow. I think that I fixed it again. I've had a few people test it, tell me that it looks okay. But we want to make sure for the vast audience that we're not seeing any audio or video miscues when it comes to syncing. Um, and then the second thing, just for everybody that's been sharing out my videos, I really do appreciate that. We're small. We're going to continue to grow. A lot of people have been asking me how I make money off this. One, I don't. Uh, we're not monetized. We do this for fun. It's a passion project, and we're going to continue to do it. We're not doing it for the money. We're doing it just because we like to, one, focus on crime and really start, started to find a passion around missing people. So let's jump back into the story. I'm going to bring you all the way back to May 30th, 2016. Okay. On that day, Liliana decided to go out to Home Depot with her daughter, Daniela, and Gustavo, who was her ex and the father of Daniela, decided to tag along with them to go to Home Depot. So here's where the facts get a little bit murky, right? So we know that uh, all three of them went into the Home Depot. We also know that there was an argument that ensued between Lillian and, or sorry, Liliana and Gustavo sometime uh, during their trip and while in the Home Depot. Okay? So very interesting facts. Now, they come out of Home Depot and they're never saw again. Both Lillian and Daniela haven't been seen, heard since May 30th of 2016. So automatically we would think that uh, Gustavo's got something to do with it, right? Um, at least in, the, in my opinion, he definitely does. But at this point, he hasn't been charged with a crime, which is really weird to me because, you know, he's the last person that saw him alive. He does have a stake in the game being an ex. We do see that happen quite frequently, but we can't associate guilty people just because they're an ex. We've seen that in other cases as well, but they had an argument at some point as well. Now, a couple other facts that I want to share with you is that uh, when the police went to question Gustavo, he immediately lawyered up and that doesn't mean that Gustavo is guilty. And I, I don't want to imply that he is guilty just because he lawyered up, right? Um, I would tell anybody on my channel or in real life, if something happens, no matter what it is, you should always lawyer up because anything that you say can and will be used against you in the court of law, right? Where a lawyer can definitely have you talk through some things before you just kind of spit it out. So I'm not implying that. However, it just seems kind of, interesting that he was already lawyered up ready to go okay now the police haven't named him as a suspect in the case they have named him as a person of interest and yes there's a little bit of a difference in that person of interest is somebody that they're investigating asking a lot of questions free to go but is not their primary suspect at least not yet so i'm wondering if there's more information in this case that we're not hearing or seeing that is leading the police to believe that Gustavo may not be the perpetrator in this case. Okay. A couple other facts that are pretty interesting to me is that the last time they were saw was at the Home Depot. There's typically a lot of folks that are going to be shopping there uh, during all times of the day, right? Even when it doesn't seem busy in there, there's usually going to be 15, 20, 30 people. And the days that there's bit that they are busy is going to be a thousand plus, right? So how did nobody see them disappear? So was it something that when they left the Home Depot on their way to home that, uh, you know, something might happen? Gustavo said that he had dropped them off at home. So are we, you know, to believe his word and say nothing had happened up until that point? 
um, and that would give us a little bit of a different timeline. Do we know any details from the police around, um, you know, did they find any footprints or anything around their residence that could lead to somebody else? And they're keeping pretty tight lipped about this, which is not abnormal for a case because a lot of times the police want to make sure that, uh, information that is readily available to the public um, doesn't get leaked so that way if they do come across a suspect that knows information that only the police and the victims would know it's a lot easier to one get a confession and then two be able to prosecute off of that so those are all factors that are playing into it now i do kind of find it interesting though going back to gustavo is that the brother of um, Liliana, whose name is Eduardo, does, you know, essentially a tribute slash remembrance and awareness. Um, I don't want to call it a party, but we'll call it a get together every year. And Gustavo never attends those. And the one that I saw, I think it was from two years ago that I found really interesting is they did it out in front of Gustavo's house. So you can pretty much figure that Liliana's family thinks that Gustavo did it as well. And Gustavo has never attended. And that's where it gets a little murky for me because if something happened, yes, I would probably lawyer up and do all the stuff that Gustavo did just because of smart business practices. But if somebody in my life that was important to me went missing and I truly didn't have anything to do with it, I'm going to make every effort possible to try to bring awareness to the case, which would include me attending get-togethers um, with Eduardo. I think it would just be smart. So that kind of gives me a little bit of flavor around that this person is most likely either has knowledge and or participated in the disappearance of his ex and his daughter, which makes it very scary, okay? I'm going to leave you with this, conspirators. So if you get a chance... You know, definitely put up the hashtag. We're going to use uh, Liliana and Daniela. So I'm going to do just their names back to back. So take the and out. So hashtag Liliana uh, Daniela. And you'll see that on my Facebook. And if you get an opportunity to just read the story, there's definitely some local news stories that you get to see that has some information in there. Um, and uh, I think that it'll be very interesting for you to kind of check it out. And for us, it's just bringing us to another part of the United States to see and kind of hear some of the similarities in these people going missing. So what I want to do with you folks now is just say, again, thank you for helping me with the quality of the videos. We are going to spend some time doing some paint. We're probably going to move the bed. I do like having the bed there because that bed is designed for the dogs, so my dogs can come in. Uh, I spent a lot of time in this room and I like having my dogs here. Um, but we might move it around a little bit so they're not in the shot. Maybe they're in the shot. And then we're just going to work on some background things. And then again, the audio video syncing has been the most difficult for me because I thought I have fixed this a few times going all the way back to my early videos where my friend Justin told me about it. And then my friend Mike, AKA Titan, uh, mentioned it as well. You know, and then we had this time my aunt, um, we had Kara, we had Brandon. We just had a lot of people that are, are seeing these synced issues that I'm not seeing. So any help there would help as well. So that way I can get it fixed. And as always, I hope you folks have a great week for my American friends. Happy Thanksgiving week. I may or may not bring a Thanksgiving video. And for my Canadian friends, a regular week for you. But if you have friends like me that are in America, definitely help us celebrate Thanksgiving. So until next time, have a great week and we'll see you all soon, conspirators.